application on 28th day of March 2019. You filed. So, but for entering, the court proceeded. For entering, the court proceeded to rule. To rule. You shall tease. On that day, they were in court. Without listening to them, without hearing the application, they filed in court. Because she proceeded to rule as follows. That the shorties have seen or produced the defendant. In interim, the court hereby orders that the shorties in interim to deposit the bail bond in court within two months from today. For six months. Or the bail will be forfeited. The motion pending will be heard on the 28th day of March 2028. Now, somebody, some, somebody was invited to come to court and explain to the court the whereabouts of the person who took on bail. And the person came to court formally and with application and affidavit of facts, documents, is beating video evidence, documents and pictures showing that the person that showing what happened to the person they gave on bail. They are before them. The court wouldn't have made this ruling without hearing that application. The court were waiting for the application to be heard on 28th of March before giving ruling one way or the other as to what business was action. So ruling has probably and twist the people you invited to be in court. Now they want to come appeal and file appeal against this ruling delivered on 28th of uh, on the on the 11th on the 14th of November 2018. They file appeal, and the, the matter was adjourned to 28th for the hearing of this application. So on that 28th, the court they informed the court that they've already appealed against the ruling order he made, order he made on 14th of November 2018. And the appeal has been entered. And as such, they also have a motion for stay before the court. And as such, the court will not proceed to hear this application because the application the court sought to hear has been overtaken by event, by the court rule made, has been tampered with by another court made. So, and the courts, it's okay, 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 no problem. I will join this matter, sin a die. This happened in open court, in black and white, it was recorded. Then we were in court on that 28th March, day of March. 2019 for court to hear this application because court said that your form I don't have your time now and the matter was adjourned wasn't adjourned for trial it was adjourned for the hearing of application filed by the shorty so and the, immediately the court was informed of the fact that the appeal has been entered on other order he made against other he made the court directed the court directed and uh, the court now adjourned the matter sine die then when the matter was adjourned sine die the shorties left the court. The court, the shorties immediately left the court premises. Then reminding me and they uh, sat me and they post the photo. Right? So now, what the fundamental thing that took place on this 28th day of March 2019 was that immediately the shorties, the lawyers of President Shorties left the court premises. The court beckoned on me. To produce my client on that day. Say, Joffre, where is the client? Let him enter the witness box. We are going to commence trial now. This is what happened in court. I said, My lord, the matter was coming up for hearing all this application. He never asked us to produce our client on this day. He never even really asked me to represent to make any representation to the court as to where about of my client. The court proceeded there without listening to us, for, to, without either formally or orally, the court proceeded to. Revoke his bail and here and there granted bench warrant, issued bench warrant against our client. So now the law is right that when an application order of such is remain without giving you opportunity to be heard, you have the right to come back to the same court that made that order and urge the court to set aside the order he made without judicial. So that was what prompted this application we filed on the first day of April 2019. Asking the court to vacate that order, he made issuing best warrant against a client and revoking his bail. So this application has been in court file since this date. See it here. I'll give it to you because some people go out and, uh, and misrepresent the fact to the public that this application was just filed this year. This is 2019 application was filed and was taken as last second date. The matter came up. So today, the court said it took us four years to file this application. You have a copy of this. I'll show it to you. Look at it here. It's written. This is court file. It's the original copy. You see, you see the court file. This is see the file. First day of May, April, two nineteen. That's it. This is it's the original copy. File in court. See it. 
then I will make crypto copies of it and give it to them. So, however, we also recall that when this, when our client, Onye Dumas Nankan, was abducted in Kenya on 19th of June 2021, and consequently, a extraordinary relation to Nigeria on 26th of June, I'm brought to this court before, before this one on 27th. Motion to which the federal government took him to court with that reference to us. After what subsequent proceedings, the file amended, someone can amended charge, and we raised objection to the, to the competence of the, of the charge, and also we the court to hear the charge. In view of the fact there was a gross violation of extant international law and domestic laws in, in the extraordinary relation, abduction and abduction of the of Nigeria. But there are a protocol, there are a procedure through, through which a subject, a is of whatever you call it, will be arrested in a foreign land and brought to this country. He hasn't passed through that process. And it's a very fundamental violation of international laws. So now, another issue to raise now in our, in our objection challenging the competence of the charge. When the application was adjourned for hearing, 24 hours before the date it was adjourned for hearing, they amended that charge to 15 count charge and served us 24 hours before the court. It took us almost from that point to receive that amended charge to about 3 a.m. to work closely with the NSA. She might cause the conversation, New York of law. So we worked from that time to about 3 a.m. in the morning and concluded on another objection way. Portion to which we also wrote to PJ, Honorable CPJ of the Fire Court of the Court of Appeal Abuja Division. And in his magnanimity, his lordship granted us 11th of October for hearing. So we have taken these foundation steps to ensure that we ask his lordship, Honorable Justice Nyako, to stay action on this case. Let's have let's try the three headsmen who are who are in a better position to thoroughly look at what we have before them and determine one word or other whether there's a case before the court in the first place. So also file a motion for state before lordship. And the, the law is right on a number of authorities, including the case of Honor against the FRA. So that when when an application of this nation is brought before the court of appeal, which in the substance will determine the, will determine, which will determine or allowed. We terminate the entire proceeding before the court. Some two or three OCs will not apply, and the court should stay proceedings. We have extant laws and other, other, other authorities will supply to the court. However, the court also uh, found for us, and also after the submission by Nessel, uh, the the counsel, Chief Michael Zekome, the court stayed proceeding in the matter and adjourned the case for to 14th of November 2017 for mention. Now, the court said ordinarily. The matter should have been adjourned since they die. But the court said it's maybe coming up on that day for us for court to ascertain the level of progress of the case in court of appeal. And we'll have some conviction and belief that we'll get justice in court of appeal. And more especially when the when the when the when the when the extant um party direction of court of appeal I never appeal, never appeal of this nature to be had speedily. So I believe our the case is settled and we are sure that it can be hard speedily and hopefully that we will get justice court of appeal and when the appeal is allowed then man can walk home straight from the whatever he is and walk home so and because it's high time we try uh, the upper court in view of uh, the accident in this court i don't uh, without praying so my lord uh, actually i'm not saying it's, it's not competent but what i'm saying is that it's hard time we we have a a, a bite in the in the upper court so that's actually what happened today and still of proceedings in effect i need to i need to explain this because other people have asked us what state of proceedings entail what it tell is that or what it means is that the federal the courts honorable justice Lushi, my lord honorable justice Nyako, will not take further step in this case again meaning that he will not adjudicate on this case pending when the court of appeal hear our appeal and rule upon it so the fact that it's adjourned to 14th of November does not mean that the matter is coming up for any activities on that day. It's just coming up for us to report to the court that the court of appeal has had this appeal, adjourned for ruling, or it had ruled and uh, delivered judgment and uh, discharged, it displeased the charge, and now the candidate is longer in the country. has gone, they have left the detention facility where it's been detained. So that's what it means in effect. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much, um, Barrister. Considering the um, principle of um, natural justice, uh, the procedural fairness, so and so, as you have put forward. Um, could it be said 
judging by what document you have put forward, that your team filed um, the application uh, following your client's disappearance, Mazin Amdekano, on April, sometime in April 2019. Could it be said that um, your team has been robbed off, or could uh, it be said, on the other hand, that um, the principle of natural justice or the ultimate patim has not played out in this case? Uh, no, not, of, not for this ruling, but the ruling of the court delivered on the 28th of um, March 2019. We are not given opportunity to be had. Yes. Portion to which we filed an, an application for him to set aside the order he made with that institution. So, because you see, we are talking about something fundamental. I, I, and I believe I've said this thing in many forums. You see, we are talking about the fact that you have the is alive today. Let us face the reality of life. Just like what happened to me to several occasions. Assuming that the Kano, when you was killed on 14th of September 2019, 2017, when the bloody military, when the Nigerian military invaded his premises, killed over 28 persons there. We were talking about this child. The answer is no. See, so you shouldn't be treated with the one of hands. The court is under compelling obligation to look at the fact before him, to look at what you are saying, to look at the evidence before the court, to look at what Nandi deposed on oath, or your mother Nandi deposed on oath, and understand what happened in his house. This is very fundamental. It can't be treated with the over hands. We're talking about somebody's life. Okay, up to today, nobody has said anything about the 28 persons that were killed in his genocide you know, massacre in his home on 28th of, 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 of September 2017. What offense have they committed? These are people who are unarmed, civilians, and they were killed in the cold blood. So, what are we talking about? Assuming the Nam, assuming the Nam, the Nam was killed on the 14th of September, will we be talking about this child today? The answer is no. The answer is capital no. But God kept, God has been keeping him alive. And the court is on the, this is a question I granted bail. I granted him bail. And we took him on pretrial conference before then. And he was ready to be in court. And one of the one of the one of the meetings he had with some people, he made it known to the public that he's coming to court on the eleventh of October with over one million persons, supporters to come to come to court with him. He will, I can say this and I can beat my head, I can swear with my life that only in Dumasin and can were prepared to come to court on October 2017 when this before this thing happened. I can swear, I can swear I bet my life for that. Because I took him on pretrial trial conference. We are ready for for, for the matter to, because then we know we have they have no charge against him, they have no case against him. So why did you take what to his house? Even the law allows you. The law, the stand laws allows you to arrest him upon being in court on that day. If you had wanted him there, if you wanted him to be alive, you are waiting for him to come to court. And upon conclusion of his case, you arrest him. And probably prefer for a charge against him. It's allowed. Why going to his families to kill him? So we're talking about this because he's alive today. So this, 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 this matter should be treated with a wave of hands or liberty. So we're not comfortable with the way, way and manner or the weight attached to what we file a court, per se. Because from the of the court, obviously the court didn't look at what is before her. Today, obviously, he didn't mention the fact that the evidence before her, this evidence is posted on the camp. Let me show it to you. Because it's, it's important for you to be on the know about what happened. This evidence of file is posted on the camp. See it. State of Israel. See it. He didn't post this evidence when he was in the state of Israel. Before, before, before not republic, stating clearly what happened in his house. So these are compelling documents the court to look at it and make definite findings on them. But it wasn't mentioned today. It was only. So you see, we are talking about life, fairness and equity and justice. So where is the justice? So I can assure you, we are more comfortable going to court appeal. Don't see it as you are, you are playing with time. No. They are not serious about the trial, so let them go to court and sort out of anything. We, can, we won't be coming here every day and, take, and be taking our judgment. Of course, they're ready. If, assuming we are not in court of appeal today, they will, the matter will not go on to Of course, you know. They will adjourn the matter after vacation, probably sometime in September or November or October. We'll come back on October, then something will happen again. They'll adjourn it to next year, March. So they, take it seriously. They'll adjourn it to next year, March. And for next year, March, they'll say, okay, after the election, 2025. This is Nigeria, pure Nigerian practice for you. So we come up here, and it's more so when we have enabling law. Court appeal practice, factual practice direction. Allow this matter to be had quickly. So we're a better place to be in court up here. So don't see it as if we're taking time, we're playing with time. It's something good that happened today. Because I can assure you 100%, if you had proceeded today, the matter will not go on. 
This is where I'm not ready to go. They will be fine like Father Church and South the Prime Minister John Day. But when you come back on September, they will have a Father Church, they will fire. They will add, they will fire the probably uh, another seven county addresses and serve it. And we'll start, we'll start afresh. So, we say these are compelling facts and documents. His lordship could appeal. We're going to file appeal against the ruling of today, of course. We well, have been notified to the public. So, his lordship has to look at it. At the court of appeal, look at it. You can't be talking about somebody's attempted murder or somebody. Then, and in the process, people were killed in premises. I repose to this far additional affidavit. Look at it. Very compelling documents. How many paragraphs? How many pages? See it. Well detailed. See it. And the court didn't make any single pronouncement on it today. No pronouncement was ever No reference was made to this document before the court. Five since first day of April 2019. Are you telling me that they have learned, that they didn't see it? In fairness, this is what was filed before the court. And it was the defined report of taking the application. It was the defined before his lordship. It was filed on 1st of April. You can't move at this application without identifying that it was filed and dated. 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 It's an elementary part of uh, this practice. That when you take it away, you're taking an application before the court, you must identify the state the date it was filed, state it was dated. And it was clearly stated in court record. So why are you telling me it was filed four years after? Thank you so much for we should, we should be We should be by default um, two years. Two years. I don't know. More or less. What you say, it took us almost four years to bring this, to move this, to bring this application. Okay, um, Barista, before we go, I just want to be in the know, um, following the state of proceedings from the stable of uh, Justice Vinta Nyako and um, the aversion to the three headsmen in the appellate court. Does it um, happen to touch only the bell application or the counts? In its entirety. No, we're talking about what's in the appeal that the one that has, has been entered. We're talking about a seven count charge, which are in, in all falls with the eight count charge that we are struck out. They have the same facts, the same circumstance, the same drafting method, the same the same the same story. So you can't distinguish between the one that was struck out and the one that was that got left. So, and the grounds upon which they were being, uh, were being challenged, the, the entire thing counter we are being challenged, is the grounds upon which the seven remaining seven returned by court also being challenged. So, the, we are urging the court of appeal to also look beyond that and dismiss the entire counter. We have done it in several criminal cases, and we believe that, uh, uh, that we'll get justice there. So, they are going to appeal again this one too. For the sake of clarity, we understand that court of appeal, that uh, federal high court, um, Omar here. Yeah. Has already ruled on similar application brought before the courts for fundamental right enforcement of a client, Oyen Mazunanikan, for gross by for invasion of his premises and also the genocidal massacre, massacre of 28 28 persons in his premises. So, and the court found against the federal government that they grossly violated his fundamental right by the invasion and also killings here and, and made foul decision pronouncement, gave order for compensation and also for public apology. So, however, my lord, when that was brought to the attention of my lord, his lordship, he said that uh, he observed in open court when application for the bail was, in, was removed, that even when the application was removed, that the purpose of the rule of the, of the state high court of Omaha was to sit on appeal against her judgment. Like she's not binding by that or judgment of the court. That's what they say. But it's a judgment of the court, and which the federal government has not been obeyed. It's a cost at all by the government. No matter how. Stupid as many call it stupid, the order of court is you must obey that order. So, as I speak to you, the federal government of Nigeria, ably led by, by President Buhari, are in content of court's judgment, are in content, they are in content of court's order. Because court said, gave the entire wooden wish to apologize, the court gave the entire wooden wish to pay compensation, and they've not done that. So, and that settles the issue of jumping bail. So, which is imparimatra, which what, what we are we, we stated in this. In the ability support of this application. Yes. Um, more importantly, Barrister, um, speaking about bail application, because we understand that um, the, the, the main ingredient um, in the application, the bail application, is tilting uh, towards health grounds of your client, Mazinam de Kano. We just want to know what is the latest development bordering his health now, because it is only one who is alive stands trial how is he well the point is that we, the, what i want to tell you at this point in time is that we have a situation 
in this case that is becoming overwhelming. And it's important for us to let the public know. We have had causes, cause to file several content, share content cases against the detention of facility, detention authority. And all those applications ends in this court. We have cause to file from 48. You know, when you're initiating content proceedings, you have to file from 48. Notice of consequence of the government to the government to court order. And it was decided by the judge of the court. And Federal High Court Register here in Abuja told us point blank that he cannot sign it. Not to once, not to why. We're wasting our time. We should go back to court and resolve our problem. They cannot sign. So when court made an order, they cannot enforce it. You see our predicament. So what are we doing here? Order that uh, court made in open court that now the candidate is entitled for entitled to have a medical uh, a medical professional to resign him for second opinion. The court made an order about the clothes, change of his clothing. We send them today to the even in open court, the court made an order, take it. To the to, to tension facility, let him change it. Where are your clothes? You were told where there is no other in open court. Yes. So we have a number of letters of orders the court this court has made. In fact, I'm, I, I, I even pity my lord. And I'm just making order, I'm making order in a vacuum, not nobody's obeying it. So this is a predicament to find ourselves. So what are we doing? So should we clapping that way we are living there to cause my field? Because that's the most important <laughs> thing. Okay. Believe me, I'm happy. Yes. Because it is possible that even the court will grant him bail today, they will not even leave him. Back my word, it's possible that if the court has met more than 10 others in the past and they cannot even obey one, then how are you sure that even the court, if the court has backed this order, revoking his bail or, 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 or issuing bail warrants against him, that they obey it? They will not obey it. So this is the point. So let's go there. Let's go there. When we are away, we have three people. So they will review it. So let me see where a couple of people make an order and do not obey it. So it's me on. So he's managing his house. He's understanding the predicament to find ourselves. He kept on encouraging him. Of course, we heard from him today. He know what is going on. We meet, him, we meet with him every Monday, every Monday and Thursdays. But this place will come to pass. You were here when President Buhari granted press conference last week, granted the press interview. <coughs> During his, uh, his title by the, during the bilateral meeting, I'll uh, come, come with um, the head of state meeting. He told them, he categorically told the British Prime Minister that Mr. Nikano was sometime in the past granted bail. This is a matter before the court. Granted bail, and he jumped bail. How are you sure that if he's granted bail again, he will, he will not jump bail? Are you getting the language? Are you yes. getting the statement? And that is the executive are you getting towards the judiciary. Yeah. Are you getting, so let me just say this to you. Which cried in the night, I mean, yes. and the baby died in the morning. Yes. What will we say? What will be your analogy? I will end this on this note. Which cried and the baby died in the morning. What, what will we say? I won't go further on this. There's a serious executive interference in what we are doing in this court. Simple. My Lord is helpless. The court is helpless. I won't go further on that. But I believe we are going to the upper court. Yeah. And I'll still continue to apply for camp. Appeal for camp? Yes. We need understanding and focus. In line with admonition of of uh, in the Mazin Man coming today. Because we are getting there. Victory must come. And must come soon. I can Let's see. continue to keep our eyes on the ball. Let us don't derail. That's what I'm telling you. Thank you for being here. I wish you still journey back to various destinations and God bless. Uh, so you're going back in various before you and I, I just want you to throw more light in a layman's understanding everything about the pending apicot. You know, people have been hearing about apicot, apicot. What is it all about? Okay, what let me just apicot let me about? just come to a level that even the people uh, ruling at the market there will understand the language I'm using. This people fired fifteen count charge against Onyendo Mazin Nalika and the servers and look at the charge and said, this thing is not a charge. He didn't disclose any offense. I didn't even show that Nam the cannot committed any offense from what we have. And also backed up by the law. We come to court and tell the court there is nothing 
here in this charge to warrant his further detention or even to warrant the trial to go on. It was court okay that and because of that the court has not we were saying the court we told the court that you have because there's nothing here in this document to warrant him being tried being tried that as such you have no powers powers to try him so leave him let him go back to where he came from the court said okay let me look at this document to file and uh, the court look at it and say okay uh she was like uh, we have seen that uh, I, I, I agree with you that out of this 15 count charge, that eight, eight is, is not disclosed offense, it's true. Uh, I will strike them out. But but seven, uh, I will leave them. Now we're going to Court of Appeal. And we are telling the Court of Appeal that there's no difference between the eight left and the seven. And this eight struck out and seven left. That are the same thing. That the Court of Appeal should look at it and strike out the title. There are many seven. So at now they will go. That's all. We won't struck out now. That's the end of the proceeding. No bell again. Nothing. We'll just go. A free person. So is it clear to you for now? Yes. So that's what we're doing in court now. And it's coming up on the 11th of October from here. And I said, as I already said, it is better for us to be there. You who have been coming to court, you understand the, the trajectory of this case. You don't need to be there. no longer a, a, a lay person. You've been coming. All of you have been coming. If not because of this step we're taking now, the matter will be adjourned to October again. And October, nothing will happen. You will adjourn again to this year. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. So let me understand that part. Because had it been the ruling was delivered on the merit today, we won't be talking about this. Today you'll be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be free. But it's, it's, now, it has now, it's now clear to everybody that Noya Nakwa, Noya Nakwa Oro, Nakwa Nape, Nakwa Ladere, Nakwa Nakwa, Noya Nakwa Oro. You got to go. Eh, Nakwa Nape, Nakwa Ladere. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much.